Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Today's topic of discussion will be how to overcome fear and anxiety when communicating. Whether you are talking to a group of people, giving a speech in front of a large audience, or just simply talking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, fear and anxiety can creep in really quickly and stop you from communicating at your best which is why it is very important to combat fear and anxiety because at the end of the day, it is not a good emotion. And on this channel, we are all about positivity and learning communication skills to help us be successful in our lives. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you need to do to get over your fear and anxiety and go out there into the world and accomplish anything that you set your mind to. Let's dive right in, shall we? First and most important thing is to stop worrying about being judged. One of the most obvious reasons I have found that people have fear and anxiety when communicating with others is because they are afraid of being judged. We are all so self-conscious and our world revolves around us. We think everyone around us is looking at us and talking about us and wondering why we are dressed the way that we are or why we look a certain way or why we talk a certain way. But let me break it to you. Nobody cares that much about us. That is all in our heads. But hey, that's a great thing because that means you can actually stop worrying about what others are thinking about you. If you are trying to communicate better with people in general, stop worrying about being judged and stop worrying about how you are coming off to them. Anything that you say or do that you think is embarrassing will be forgotten the moment you leave the setting or the moment that you hang up that phone call. So when you are in a professional setting, for example, don't think that the question you want to ask is too stupid or isn't relevant enough and stay quiet. Speak up and say what you need to say because chances are other people are also wondering what the answer to that question is. If you are in class, don't think that if you say something silly, everyone in class will laugh at you. Even if they do, that is okay. Start laughing with them because when you do that, people actually respect you more and like you more. Everything doesn't have to be so serious all the time, okay? Another reason that we are always afraid and have anxiety around people is because a lot of us, including myself, have feelings of inferiority. After speaking to so many people about this, I have found that a common reason for our anxiety of speaking is just feeling like we are inferior to others. A lot of us think that we are not good enough, not smart enough, not beautiful enough, and I am here to tell you that that is not the case. That feeling of inferiority is only in your state of mind. That is something you came up with or someone around you has convinced you is true, but it is not. We are all special in our own unique ways. We all have something to offer that others do not. We all have some sort of talent or another, even if you don't know about it yet. I guarantee you that if you ask your closest friends or family members what you are good at, they will tell you all of your strengths and you will be very surprised. So go ahead, ask someone around you what you're good at. Your special talent is your superpower and anytime you are talking to someone, use that superpower to your advantage. For example, you could be a naturally funny person. If you are, then add that into the mix when you're communicating with someone. You can be someone who remembers very small, intricate details. Talk about those little details that everyone else seems to miss. You could be someone who is great at telling stories. Tell a story when you are giving a speech or when you are in class. You can almost always relate something from your experience to the topic that is being discussed and share it in the form of a story. Once you start doing that, you won't feel inferior to anyone because you will bring your best foot forward and amaze people in your own unique way. Something we should be doing is also practicing basic communication skills. Let's get into some more actionable items and the most important is to practice basic communication skills. If you haven't already, make sure you check out this video right here, how to never run out of things to say. It goes into a lot of detail on how to avoid those awkward silences and improve your communication skills. At the same time, keep the conversation flowing really well. Learning and practicing basic communication skills can come in handy in so many different ways because being a good communicator can actually help you get that job that you really want. It can help you find the right partner in your life. It can also help you maintain good relationships with family members and your friends. Basically, any area of your life requires good communication skills. I have found that if you have fear and anxiety when communicating, you should practice with different outlets. 
What I mean by this is that you should speak to people more, let's say, maybe over the phone instead of face to face, or you can be FaceTiming, which is also a great option because there is still a little barrier between you and the person. And it's psychologically easier for you to say what you need to say without being afraid. So find some way that you already communicate with people on a regular and start using it as a practicing tool to help you overcome all of your fears. Next up in helping you overcome your fear and anxiety is to talk to strangers. One of my favorite things to do that has helped me improve my communication and push away fear is to talk to random strangers. Talking to strangers may sound like the scariest thing because you're probably thinking, but Maria, I can't even talk to people that I know, so how am I supposed to talk to random strangers? Well, think about it for a minute. When you talk to a stranger, if you royally mess up, then hey, you're never gonna see that person again, right? Most likely. And then you can move on with your life knowing that you don't need to relive that moment over and over again when you see that person. This can be someone that you bump into while waiting in line at a coffee shop. It can be someone that you see at a store when you're shopping for something. Or if you are at work, it can be a customer on the phone that you practice your skills with without them even knowing it. Also, let me tell you this. Most people actually enjoy it when others come up to them and talk to them randomly. A little tip for you is to actually compliment that stranger on something that you really like about them. For example, shoes that they're wearing or a jacket that they're wearing that you really like. That gets the conversation going and communicating just becomes so much easier. Plus, who knows, you might make a new friend on the way. Next tip that I have for you to overcome fear of communicating is to start writing more. Writing is a great way to take all of those words that you have in your head and put them out in front of you. By doing that, you are literally seeing what your mind is thinking and if it is not coming out the way that you are thinking, then you know that you need to tweak some things here and there. By the way, check out this video right here on how to articulate your thoughts better because it will really help you bring out your thoughts into the best words possible. Okay, so what is the best way to get those words out and how can it actually help you get over your fear and anxiety when communicating with other people? This can be done in so many different ways. You can do this through text messages, you can do this through emails, you can write a journal for yourself or you can just write some scripts for yourself. Try to review and analyze anything that you ever write down and fix it if it needs to be. By writing more and more, you are able to communicate better because you are also reading what you are writing. I was an okay communicator, but when I started actually reading my texts and emails and basically anything else that I wrote down, I was able to see what I needed to improve on and where my words and thoughts did not align or make any sense. By doing this, I got the practice that I needed and if I ever needed to speak on that specific subject around other people, I was a lot less fearful and I was able to speak so much more clearly because I had already practiced speaking in the form of writing. It is a great little trick. These were all the tips that I have for you today to help you get over your fear and anxiety of communicating. Remember that communication is such an important part of being successful in society. It can help you get the job that you want. It can help you become more confident. It can help you with your emotional well-being. So make sure you are taking all the steps you need to improve those communication habits. If you need some help along the way, I have an exclusive Facebook group called Habits for Success where we basically share our goals, our struggles, and hold each other accountable so that we are able to reach our goals and be successful in life. Join the Facebook group and send me a message and say hello. The link is in the description box below, so make sure you check it out. While you're at it, make sure to also check out these helpful videos on communication that will help you become a better communicator so that you can get to where you want to be in life. Until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. This is Sincerely Maria signing off. Bye.